Many people find the process of deploying their iPhone app to the iTunes Store to be a complicated and frustrating experience. My name is Billy Haas, and in this video, I will show you the process I went through deploying one of my apps to the iTunes Store. Go to itunesconnect.apple.com and log in to your iTunes Connect account. After you sign in to iTunes Connect, click on Manage Your Applications. Next, click on Add New App. Next, you'll be taken through a series of pages and prompts asking you to enter in various information about your app. Your app name is the name that will appear in the iTunes Store. Your SKU number is a string which can contain letters and numbers and it will uh, be used by Apple to track your application and refer to it. Select the bundle ID that you created when you built your distribution provisioning profile. If you have not created your distribution provisioning profile um, you're going to need to do that before you upload your app to the iTunes Store. Go to developer.apple.com Click on the distribution uh, navigation item and then expand the uh, list that says creating and downloading a distribution provisioning profile for ad hoc distribution. This will give you step-by-step -step directions on how you go about creating a distribution provisioning profile and how you add it to your application. Continuing with the deployment process, click on the continue button and it will take you to the next page of prompts for information needed for uploading your app. If you have questions about what any of these fields are, you can click on the question mark next to the field and it will explain it better than I can. Some of the fields on this page can be edited later after you've uploaded your app and some of them you can only edit while you're uploading it. The description is one of those fields that you can come back again later and change it if you wish to. The primary category has to be set correctly now, same with the secondary category. Uh, keywords also cannot be changed until you upload your app a, an additional time in the future, so try to get those right the first time. You are limited to 100 characters for your keyword selection. The copyright field can be edited anytime you want to. Same with the email address, support URL, uh, the app URL, and privacy properties, uh, or privacy property, oh, I'm getting tongue twisted here, or privacy policy URL. Scrolling down now, there are some checkboxes which you need to check, and these are used to determine the uh, rating that your application is going to get as far as uh, is it appropriate for children or adults and so forth. None of these are something that you can go back and change later without re-uploading your application. Next you get to the section where you're uploading your uh, images. You can upload four screenshots and one large icon which should be 512 pixels by 512 pixels and it must uh, closely resemble the small icon that your application uses when it appears on your iPhone. When you're done uploading your images and setting your settings, click the Save button. Note that your status is still Prepare for Upload. To get the status to change from Prepare for Upload to Ready for Upload, click on View Details. Then in the lower right hand corner of the page, click on Ready to Upload Binary. After that, you'll be prompted to answer a few more questions. The status is now Waiting for Upload. Now that our status is waiting for upload, we can go ahead and upload our app to the iTunes Store. Um, next I'll show you how to uh, configure your build settings and 
archive your app so that you can upload it. Open Xcode and select View Navigators Show Project Navigator. Make sure you have your app selected in the target section. Then under the code signing section where it says distribution, make sure you have your iPhone distribution profile set. Also where it says any iOS SDK, make sure you have your distribution profile selected there as well. Next, edit your schema to make sure that it is set properly. Select your archive build and for build configuration make sure it is set to distribution. You're now ready to build the archived version of your app so that you can upload that to the iTunes store. Select Product, then Archive, and that will build your archive version of your app. When it's done building, the Organizer window will open showing your app, and from there you can validate your uh, application build. To validate your application build, Click on the Validate button. Enter your username and password for iTunes and, and click Next. Make sure you have the appropriate application and identity selected from the uh, drop-down lists. And then click Next. And if uh, everything went properly, you will be shown no issues were found with your application. The status now says Past Validation. Now we finally get to submit our app to the iTunes store. Click the Submit button, uh, enter your login and password to the iTunes store, make sure you got the appropriate application and identity selected, click Next, and uh, the organizer will now upload your application to the iTunes store. If all goes well, then you will get a message that says, Submission Succeeded. Click Finish. The status now says Submitted, indicating that you have successfully submitted your app to the iTunes Store. Log in to itunesconnect.apple.com Click on Manage Your Applications. Click on the app that you just uploaded. And you can see that now the status has changed to Waiting for Review. With any luck, in a few days your app will be approved and be ready for sale. Several days have passed and I've received an email from Apple saying that my app is ready for sale, so I'm logging back into the iTunes Store to verify this. Click on my app, and sure enough, the status says ready for sale. And that's all there is to it. Pretty simple, really. Not. Um, I suppose you're thinking right now, you know, that was really helpful, that video that Billy made. I wish I could thank Billy in some way. And uh, I'm not saying you have to thank me in any way at all, but if you wanted to, you could always download one of my apps and then uh, go back into iTunes and maybe give it a five-star rating.